Hi, I'm Michael Forbes. Just here to talk to you about some of the misconceptions in hormone replacement therapy. Um, there's a lot of confusion between why bioidentical hormone replacement therapy isn't more mainstream. Well, it mostly comes down to money and education. There's very little money uh, behind promoting it because there's no drug companies that are able to be remunerated for their studies or for their um, uh, medical research that will go into it. And so to make money in pharmaceuticals, you have to have something created and new and patentable. You can't patent something that's already naturally occurring. And so there's very little money in promoting bioidentical hormone replacement therapy. So the default is to go with conventional um, pharmaceutically produced patentable drugs. And there are a lot of differences between the side effects between these two drugs. Um, and when you look at the studies between them, um, it is very clear that the bioidentical hormone replacement therapy drugs are much safer and effective for um, men and women as uh, to, to control hormone imbalances and anti-aging effects. Um, the difference between um, education um, between bioidenticals and conventional medicine is that there's, there's so much information given to medical professionals as they're going through school and training, when they get out and they start practicing, it becomes uh, the norm to prescribe what everyone else is doing because of there's liabilities and there's standards of practice that have been put in place that is well known and well documented. Um, there's very little education put behind bioidenticals because to educate people you need to have money and there's no money behind it. So the end result is there's fewer people educated in the benefits between bioidenticals and conventional medicine.